Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And on tonight's episode, I am here with Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> and he is playing his uh, <laughs> Berserker. Ogre Berserker, Master Race. Who's uh, level, what are you, 16, 17? 16, yeah. 16, would, almost halfway. I wouldn't be surprised if I asked him one day and he says like 33 or something like that. He is leveling <laughs> so much faster than I am. Uh, so I'm only level 13 Fury. So he's the he's the meat shield. I am somewhat the healer in DPS, which we haven't really fell into those roles just yet. That's going to be around level 20, 25 when we really start playing our characters right th that way. Right now, we're pretty much all even. And I can I can do melee, he can do melee, I can do spells. And he has a few spells, not too many, uh, but still pretty nice. I'm so, looking forward to being that me show, though. I'm really going to have fun keeping them off of you and watching you... Uh, you know, keep me healed and uh, and do the DPS. That's going to be fun for me. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool when we can start going to some dungeons, which is going to happen pretty soon here, guys, so stay tuned to that. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and talk to this NPC right here in front of us, the chef, and see what he has in store for us. Chances are it's going to be a quest related to food in some way, either going out and killing creatures and making food out of it or just getting the ingredients and having him make it for us. But we don't know just yet, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Greetings! Ah, oh, come on, no voice acting? You guys, man, you're starting to go cheap. Uh, greetings, I am Tazak. It was not long ago that I was combed, or that I combed the beaches for whatever I needed in my trade. When the Black Shield smugglers landed, however, I was forced from a number of worthwhile ingredients. Now they claim the beach as their own, and the whisper suggests that they have the sights set on the city of Gowan, as if they had a chance of taking it. As if... We may be young race, but we have proven ourselves countless times. First with our creators, and then with the Sparox. I fight with the Sarox in a death sentence. <laughs> the Black Shield smugglers will learn this soon enough, as those that tried before them. In the meantime, I still need my ingredients, but cannot spend time uh, dueling with the pirates. If your time could be lent, I would appreciate it. Uh, what would you like me to do? Uh, get me more uh, seasoning. It's what I require most, and what I have least of. The venom of the Sandstalker to the north can be quite tasty when used sparingly. I often use it to spice up a mill. I would like you to gather some for me. I can do this. So they're a version of Tabasco sauce. Uh, I was thinking of the ghost pepper, actually, because it sounds like <laughs> it could kill you if used too much. Uh, it's got a salty sting, level 11. I get at least 13 silver and 23 copper for that, so we're going to go ahead and hit accept. Did you see where he said comb the beaches? Yes. Dude, what did I put you in mind of? Star Wars? Yeah, the, the Star Wars spoof, what is it called, meatballs? Yeah. Yeah, what they're calling the <laughs> These huge freaking combs. <laughs> I didn't find anything, sir. Ah, <laughs> uh, comedy. But yeah, we're going to come out here. That's actually a pretty good movie for those of you who haven't seen that one. That was, when did that come out? Like 86, Spaceballs, yeah. 87 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Like right after the the last Star Wars, I believe. It's freaking hilarious. The only <sighs> thing on that that movie that kind of creeps me out is Pizza the Hut. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. If you guys see that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's hilarious. Think of a giant pile of pizza that is actually a creature and that's melting right before your eyes yeah big pile of cheese goo it's disgusting and you almost killed that thing with a bow yeah I'm wondering when my bow is going to stop becoming as effective I just use it to pull I'm just using it to pull for to us but it's literally killing the crap out of them oh we're getting updates for this uh, as yeah, a group thing that's pretty nice yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you know they've uh, I can I can let go of the voice acting if if they keep giving us group updates. It's kind of a shame that they did let go of the voice acting. I know like when the the game first came out, they didn't have voice acting in it, and then when they did the expansion for this one, uh, this was a newbie zone, and they put a whole bunch of stuff in it that the rest of the game didn't have. So, if you get used to the voice acting, you're going to be sorely disappointed when you go to other zones. But it was it was really nice while it lasted, because they got some really exceptional. Uh, voice actors to do some of those roles like that one guy we were talking about earlier yeah he yeah. played the crap out of that scenario man and he sounds like he had a good time doing it so i well, mean you know sure he did as a voice actor he's getting paid now that's you know always a good day for them 
And, uh, you know, the, the, I'm sure there's a big enough company to where they could go and get their developers or people on different teams to do the voice acting. And it, with a little bit of coaching, I, I believe that anybody could be a decent voice actor. You know, or you can just hire, like, that one guy who does, like, 8,000 voices yeah, on The Simpsons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just get that one guy. He can do your whole freaking uh, voice acting for the entire game right there. But, yeah, I don't know if they have the money anymore. They, uh, they didn't sell it off. Uh, Sony, they had a, a department there that uh, had been working on EverQuest for a long time, and they actually gave the game and several other games to them to handle for them. And I think the reason they did that, and I'm just speculating because I have no proof of this, but I think the reason they're doing that is because Sony has been getting hacked so much lately, they're trying to distance the games that actually make money from, like, the name of it, because I, I'm not even going to speculate on who's doing it, but... Yeah, they're, they're really getting hammered, so... It's the North Koreans, dude. Everybody knows this, man. Yeah, Come but on. I'm not saying it. Because <laughs> I'm not strong enough to stand up to a country. You know, the United <laughs> States can, and other countries can, but I, me, singly, I'm not strong enough to stand it, up to a... He is strong enough. North Korea, author's calling you out. That's right, guys. <laughs> Go ahead and hack my computer and shut me down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We you love guys, you, North Korea. Yeah, uh, yeah, just leave me alone. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and talk to the chef now that we've gotten hot water here, which is perfect for a chef. So let's see what he has to say. Greetings. Did you get the venom? Yes, I did. I did get the venom. Oh, there we go. I got a salty sting, level 11. I ended up getting 27, 27 silver and 22 copper. I got 26 silver and 69 copper. And so not very big of a difference. What is that, like 20 or 30 copper a piece uh, for each oh. one of these quests? So we're going to go ahead and hit accept. That's going to lead us to the next part of the quest. You can always tell if he has something else to offer you as the feather above his head will stay oh. there. When it's the last quest that he has and he gives you some text, the feather will disappear, but the text will be there. And you may have to go through several different uh, buttons that you click on for your responses before you get to the end of his text. Uh, but again, we're not going to do that because that's going to lead us to another quest there. So again, guys, if you do enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe definitely helps grow my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Also, you're more than welcome to leave comments. Uh, if you guys have any funny stories about when you played or any comments on the topics that we cover, or if you have a, a topic that you guys want us to cover, uh, leave that down below and we definitely will try to get to it. As long as it's not, uh, you know, a topic that's not appropriate. We try to keep it as PG as possible. Uh, not, uh, you know, a law by any means that we have to be, but we do try as much as possible to keep it that way. So if you do have a topic that's a little bit more risque, uh, we'll have to see if we can handle it, if we can put that in the description somehow to let people know that. Uh, because we do have kids who watch this. So, again, guys, we want to thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Subscribe!